In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Data Studio account and connect to your first data source, Google Analytics demo account. Then we're going to review the Data Studio interface, learn how to visualize data using charts and graphs, and how to share our reports with others. <laughs> Hi, this is Ahmed from SEOWalk and this is the first lesson in Google Data Studio Essentials. Let's get started. If you haven't used Data Studio before, you need to create an account first. To do that, go to datastudio.google.com and click use it for free. And then you'll need to log in with your Google account and follow the steps to create your free account. Data Studio has two main components, data sources and reports. Here on the home page, you have access to view and manage every report or data source that you've created so far or is shared with your account in Data Studio. Your reports and the reports that are shared with you can be found here in the Reports tab. You can search your reports or you can sort them based on different criteria and when you find your report, you can share it, you can rename it or you can remove it. Similar to that, all the data sources that you've created or that are shared with you can be found in the data sources tab. Plus, in the reports tab, you can find some templates here under the template gallery, which can help you get started, or you can start with creating a blank report. Let's create a blank report. When we create a new report, we're immediately prompted to add a data source to the report. We need to use a data connector to connect to and extract data from a data set and make that data available in the report. Our data set can be in a marketing or analytics tool such as Google Analytics, Google Ads or Facebook Ads, or in a MySQL database, or in a data warehouse like Google BigQuery, or it can be simply in a Google Sheet or a CSV file. So for example, if our data set is in Google Analytics, we need a Google Analytics data connector to connect to it. If it's in Google Ads, we need a Google Ads data connector. If it's in Google Sheets, we need a Google Sheets data connector and so on. We can use one of these data connectors to connect to our data set and make the data set available in our report. I'm going to connect to Google Analytics and when you click on a data connector such as Google Analytics, it will list all the Google Analytics accounts that you have access to. So you can choose from them. Here I'm going to choose the demo account, which is the Google Analytics account for Google Merchandise Store and is publicly available to everyone. And then I'm going to select the property and select the view and finally click add to create this data source and add it to my report. If you don't already have access to Google Analytics demo account, I'm going to show you how to get access. It only takes a few steps. You just need to search for Google Analytics demo account and it's usually the first result. You click on the results and then you scroll down over here and click access to demo account. Then you'll be redirected to your Google Analytics interface from where you need to agree to the terms to get access to the GA demo account. Okay, so let's go back to our report. Now that we have connected this report to a data source, we can see the Data Studio's report editing interface. At the top, we have the report title, which we can click on and rename it to something more descriptive, like my first report. And then at the bottom, we have the menu bar and underneath we have this toolbar. And then here in the middle, we have this blank workspace, which is called the report canvas. We can see that there's a table added to the canvas when we added the data source to our report. You can right click on this table and any other chart in Data Studio to quickly get access to all the menu items that are specific to that chart. There's a sidebar at the right that when nothing is selected will give us access to the properties of the report and when a chart is selected it gives us access to the properties of the selected chart or whatever is selected on the report. For a chart, we can view and control the data that appears in the chart in the data tab in the sidebar. And then we can change the appearance of the chart in the style tab to decide how exactly do we want our data to be visualized. At the top right, we've got this share button that gives us access to different sharing options in Data Studio. And finally, a button that lets us toggle between the edit mode and view mode in Data Studio. Now that I clicked on it, I switched into the view mode. 
in which we can preview our report as if we are the final user of the report. This is the way other people that you share the report to can view and interact with your report. And we can click it to go back to the edit mode. The Data Studio report is created by placing charts, graphs, and other components on this report canvas, on this blank workspace in the middle. Let's add a few charts to see how they work. So I can add a scorecard here. I can add a time series chart, a bar chart, a map, and a pie chart. Notice that all of these charts are getting their data from the Google Analytics demo account that we added to this report earlier. We can select the charts, we can move them around, we can resize them, we can copy and paste them, and we can remove them. Our report is ready. Let's take a look. It's not the best looking report, but it's good. Now let's see what options do we have to share this report with other people. So Data Studio reports can be shared just like a Google Doc or a Google Sheet. Let's go ahead and try to share this report. We can either share the report with the specific people by entering their names or email addresses like this, or we can click Manage Access to create a link to this report. In both cases, we can decide if we'd like to allow people to only view the report for example, if you're sharing this report publicly or with a client, or if you want them to also be able to edit the report. For example, if you're sharing it with a colleague to help us out with the report. I'm going to create a public link with the view access to this report and copy the link to the clipboard and save it. Now I'm going to open an incognito window to test the link. As you can see, I'm not logged into Data Studio anymore and the link allows me or anyone to view this report. There are a few other ways to share this report which are specific to Data Studio and are accessible through this little downward arrow beside the share button. Other than sharing the access to the report with the specific people or creating a public link to the report, you can also schedule a PDF version of this report to be emailed to specific people at the specific intervals. Let's see. So here we can choose this report to be emailed on a daily, weekly or monthly basis or just on every weekday. Or we can directly download the report in PDF format to our computer. Feel free to explore each of these options on your own. So far, we learned how to connect to a data set, visualize data on the canvas and share the report with clients or colleagues. In the following lesson, We'll dive deeper to learn how to connect to different data sources, how to clean and transform data, and how to visualize different types of data to create beautiful reporting dashboards that people actually use and love. See you in the next lesson. Next, we're going to learn how to connect to and extract data from different tools and how to use calculated fields to clean and transform our data before visualization. Did you learn anything new today? You can either test your knowledge by taking the quiz for this lesson or continue to the next lesson. Both links can be found in the descriptions below. If you're new to Measure School, make sure to subscribe so you can get notified of the future videos that we publish. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.